And all you have to do now is look at where we are today. Exactly. We're on the edge of the cliff. And we have got to start fixing it now. Otherwise, we're leaving a disaster to our children and grandchildren in the future. And we could even lose our country if we don't get this fixed and straightened out. And now, nobody that's running really talks about it, about what we have to do and why we have to do it. They would prefer not to have it discussed. Well, what, what's happening in this election, as you've seen, is that we're still coming out of a recession. And so both candidates, this president for four years and both candidates in their, in their campaign speeches are using the necessity to dig out from recession before they get to austerity. I don't know. It shouldn't have. You know, it could have, but it shouldn't have if people were thinking clearly, if they were well-educated, if they even understood this whole debt thing, which they don't. Right. If you say, what percent of the American people really understand all of this? I say it's a very low number. Yeah. And now that's, it should be everybody. And everybody should say, because this is my country. I mean, I, this we can't do this. We've got to do this, this, and this. And people should be very active about not letting anything damage our country. Messages of condolence have been flooding into Princeton, New Jersey, since early this morning, when the death of Albert Einstein was announced to the world. A scientific giant who sometimes generated political controversy as well as brilliant equations, Dr. Einstein died at the age of 76. Einstein, brilliant physicist and theoretical mathematician, died at Princeton Hospital in the same seclusion which cloaked virtually all his activities in life. Einstein entered the hospital Friday, died this morning after refusing surgery, which it turned out would not have helped him recover from a ruptured artery. He became a U.S. citizen in 1940, but his speech was heavily flavored with the accent of his native Germany. The idea of achieving security through national armament is, at the present state of military technique, a disastrous illusion. The hydrogen bomb appears on the public horizon as a probably attainable goal. Its accelerated development has been solemnly proclaimed by the president. Its successful radioactive poisoning of the atmosphere and hence annihilation of any life on Earth has been brought within the range of technical possibilities. That was an exclusive statement which Professor Einstein made for the NBC cameras five years ago, in which he warned that the products of his genius, atomic bombs, were a menace to mankind. The professor often left the scientific world to speak on moral and political issues, especially those posed by atomic energy. Is there any way out of this impasse created by man himself? All of us, and particularly those, who are responsible for the attitude of the U.S. and the USSR should realize that we may have vanquished an external enemy. But has been incapable of getting rid of the mentality created by war. It is impossible to achieve peace as long as every single action is taken with a possible future conflict in view. This is the formula which summarized Einstein's theory of relativity, a theory which gained him a Nobel Prize. Einstein took mass, or the atomic weight of a substance, and the speed of light, which is constant, and expressed their relation to energy in a simple equation. E equals mc squared. Another formula proposed by Dr. Einstein, with a twinkle in his eye, involves success in life. The rule, he would say, might be expressed as follows. Success equals X plus Y plus Z. X being work, Y being play, and Z keeping your mouth shut. Look at where we are today. We've got to put the brakes on now and do this now and start and get it done. And it can be done if we, so in the House, the Senate, and the White House, have the will. And certainly they should have the full support of the American people to get it done. But don't you think it's interesting? Third, what they've had to deal with is fairness, right? Is 9 11, a couple of wars that require a lot of U.S. spending. Right. Uh, 
the tax cuts of, of George Square. W. Bush. I'm not sure where you stood on this, those, but they again, did eat into our uh, amount of money law. that we had to spend. And the then the recession, uh, which not was some say close to the depression. Einstein's first Didn't equation that time is a prevent us, all those policies. things happening, prevent us from being able to make deficits and debt a top priority. I don't know, it shouldn't square, have. According to the child's yeah, atomistic it have, hierarchy, it shouldn't have if people were thinking clearly, there is a structure law which means, which they don't. according to billions, so millions and millions of children, that the substructure of a proton or a neutron is a smaller elementary <laughs> a smaller universe. Which I'm structure the field, which is available on cable, describes as a maximum galactic assemblage to the negative one. What does that mean? It's very simple. It's a small dimension of matter construction. It has a superposition of gravitational fields from smaller elementary particles of construction, exactly as Carl Sagan says. So we will write it simply as MGA to the negative one. MGA to the negative one is a structure law. Every year we should look back and Hans Albert Einstein, my dear friend, really, really got a lot better. Even after the ideal, I'm sure. He, he still agreed make it better. completely. Not just settle so we write down the new enriched structure law to E equals MC squared. We're writing it down simply here as a summation. that the substructure of a proton or a neutron is a smaller elementary particle, a smaller universe, and extend the structure of the field. I don't know, it shouldn't have. Here. You know, it could have, but it shouldn't have if people were thinking clearly, if they were well educated, if they even understood this whole death thing, which they don't. If you say, what percent of the American people really understand all of this? I say it's a very low number. And now that's, it should be everybody. And everybody should say, because this is my country. I mean, this we can't do this. We've got to do this, this, and this. And people should be very active about not letting anything. Sunshine to my land full of rainy skies and gales.